one of the most famous people on the face of the earth, one of the great promoters in the history of boxing, Don King. Thank you. <clears throat> I come with a message today. First of all, I want to thank all these young men that start here and fighting for the crown. I want to thank uh, Stephen Espinosa at Showtime <clears throat> for presenting them to you. But he has something in store for him on Saturday night that's going to really be a shock. It's going to be the fight of the year. Unfortunately, you know, uh, I want to introduce to uh, Deontay, who I have a lot of love for, uh, Remains to me. He's never really met him, you know. And so I want to introduce him to him, you know, and talking to you, the American public and the world at large. It's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing at the Barkley Center. I'll call up my friend Chuck Dolan and Jim Dolan. I want them to be guests for me at the ringside. You know, hopefully they can make it. And uh, to bear witness to what's coming on with the new with uh, Mr. Your Rand here, that's his brother was my, his, not was, is my dear friend. So, but here's what's going to happen. That's what we're going to do. You're going to have an upset similar to Donald Trump, where nobody in the world wanted him to be president. He shocked the world by becoming president against all odds. All right, so now what we're going to have here is a shocking upset. It's going to be for me when he knocks out my dear friend here, Deontay. Now, you know that when he does this, and I want to him to take this into consideration, that um, Deontay will retire. That's the his words. But I want to say right now, I want to put in my, my request, when you come out of retirement, come on and see me. <laughs> because I'm telling you, he can talk, he got the gift, his mother, I love his mother, and uh, and his, my mother was both of them were born in Alabama. You know what I mean? So I'm an Alabamian too. And Alabama, what we should understand, and why I want him to be able to carry the mission to friend and poor life, is the only state in the union that has legalized white supremacy. They talk about all of the different objects that would divide people around the world, but at least Alabama was honest with it. You know what I mean? They legalized. And I want him to be one of the men that knocks that barrier down because he's got the guts, he's got the wherewithal, and he's got the glib tongue, he's loquacious, he can express and identify and bring people together as he is doing right now with the Alabamians. So I'm looking forward to that with great excitement. Not only would it be great for Lou, because I think Lou is doing a tremendous job, but it'll be a rubber match. And that rubber match will be something similar to Ali and Frazier, Ali and, and making things happen right down the line, Ali and George Foreman. So it's going to be an exciting time for me to be here on Saturday, and I'm calling up everybody. And as history has put it and dictated it, we will have a wonderful November to remember. That's what we said when I was working and promoting Donald Trump, a November to remember, and it will be remembered from, from here to eternity. You know, the same thing is going to happen here on Saturday at the Barclays Center when we really crown that Senate, that will have a, a shocking effect around the world, but it will be good because what Luther Bella said was, if we're doing right. So it's going to be a blow for righteousness because no matter what it costs, whatever it happens, we stand for the right, so the fight should be clean, it should be able to deal with each other for the safety for the boxing. My friend Suleiman is smiling right now. That's the father, not the son. <laughs> And you're looking down on me right now because he's the one that staged this thing for uh, Deontay. He set that up and we kept his word. And he kept his word with me, so now he just sent me the message. So I want y'all to all know this, Tom Howell, and I want you to put it down. You know what I mean? He sent the message that this is going to be a great thing and all the angels in heaven will be watching. You know what I mean? When the upset comes and he retired, but he keeps his word. There's nothing more precious in life than your word. Your money comes, your money goes. You know what I mean? With your word follows you forever. And so what I know that when he retired, but I just want to put in my thing right now before anybody else stops. When he come out of retirement, you're going to be a Muhammad Ali. You know what I mean? So he had to lose too, you know, in order to get that. So you ain't never lost. So you really can't be an Ali. You know? When you lose before Saturday night, you can be an Ali. 